Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And um, could 2024 be the year where Firefox rises again? And this is a question we're going to ask ourselves. Because I talked about it in a couple of videos in the past. Uh, Manifest V3 that's being pushed by Google Chrome is, of course, going to mess up with a lot of extensions, uh, especially ad blockers um, that people that some people are using. And that could cause a shift in usage from Chrome to something else. Now, the question that we have here is how is the Manifest V3 going to be pushed to us? And here's the thing. If it's just pushed within Google Chrome, then, of course, people could move on to another Chromium browser. They could use Brave, they could use Edge, they could use, could use Opera, Vivaldi, any Chromium-based browser out there that would not have the Manifest V3, um, you know, in it, so that the extensions, the standard extensions, and all of that would continue working, actually, and that would be fine. So that could be one of the things that could happen. But uh, all eyes on are on Google because it's expected that the Manifest V3 would be pushed into the Chromium base code, which means all the browsers that are Chromium-based would all end up with it. And that includes Brave. Now, Brave has a list of features they deprecate or they remove. Up to what point can they remove what Google will do is limited. Um, and in that case, the only real option, because um, some of you were talking about Safari, Safari is not in Windows anymore. It used to be, it had been there for a while, but it was abandoned by Apple, and they uh, keep it only for Apple devices now. So the only winner would be Firefox. The only one that could actually rise and be the browser of choice in 2024 if all of this happens, then would be the Firefox browser. But the problem with Firefox is that because it is its own engine, it, it has to work harder and takes more time sometimes to get compatibility into websites. And the problem with Firefox, many websites actually refuse to recognize it. So what you do is when you go to a website, they just conclude that you'll be there with a Chromium browser because if you add up all the percentages, 90% or 80 some percent of everything going to a website is a Chromium browser. So this is, of course, going to be a problem uh, because it's going to be more of a battle for Firefox and going to have to work to compatibility. So um, it's interesting. What will happen with that is definitely an interesting question. And, um, you know, will it even do something because of two other factors that uh, specialists, uh, computer specialists are saying is, first of all, people don't like change. They might just put up with the fact that whatever extension they have doesn't work anymore and still use Chrome, which is something that probably a lot of people would do. Also, it all has to do with, you know, we talk about ad blockers. There's not that many people that use ad blockers. There's the enthusiasts and the people that know it, know it all. But a lot of people don't use it, and even people that know it, a lot don't want to use it because there's too many websites that they can't visit and they always annoy um, the user that the ad block needs to be turned off and so on. And it gets to a point where a lot of users are just turning it off and not even turning it on again. So this is a, an interesting side of things. Um, it might not even, you know, that, that's the power of what's happening with Google right now, their dominance. It might not even change anything at the end of the year. But we'll be following the market share for browsers, uh, as we talked about. I did um, a market share of browsers uh, last week, and we'll be checking it out as the year goes on, see if there's any major changes in there. So uh, my question to you is if it would break, if all Chromium-based browsers would be broken by Manifest V3, 
in ad blocks and some extensions that maybe you're using, would you move to Firefox? Uh, that's the question today. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.